Hey guys, it's me, Iffy, and today I wanted to come at you with some questions about me that people have been asking and um, also I got, I got tagged a while ago to a 21 questions tag and I never got around to doing it because I was like, eh, I don't know, I don't feel like doing it. So, I was like, let me just do it now. So, um, well, I want to like do it because I've been getting a lot of questions on YouTube because I have, I have like a, a few new subscribers and stuff. Lately, I've been getting a lot of subscribers, so I was like, let me just do a, t a video about me so people get to know me and be like, hello world. So, um, yeah. Um, so, what I did was I took my 21 questions and the questions that I've got begun on Facebook and I just put them together and it was like just me questions about random stuff about me people get to know me and stuff so yeah so let's begin I do not have a job like a full-time job because I'm a full-time student but um, I work at a independent pharmacy as a student pharmacist pharmacy intern so when I have time to work, I work there. Usually right now, like on the weekends, like a couple weekends a month or something, because um, my schedule right now in school, I don't have time to like work every day and all that. So yeah, that's my job, but it's not really like it pays bills or something. It's just, I work, I mostly just work there just to get intern hours so I can sit for my board exams and stuff when I'm done with school. But yeah, I don't have a job, like a real job job, because I'm still in school, so yeah. I'm studying pharmacy in school. I have a couple more months. I'll be done in May, so I'm so excited. Yes! I've been in school for too long. It's ugh, torture. Six years of school, straight school. Like, I have no idea why I did that. But, yeah. Every day. People always tell me I look like her. I don't think it's my face. Well, I mean, my face, I mean, not that I, my, we have the same nose and same eye. I think it's just my cheeks because she has big cheeks and when I smile, I have cheeks like her. So, yeah. That's what I think I look like her, but um, I get that all the time. Since I've been younger, like, like in middle school, like, I think the first time I ever get asked that when I was in sixth grade, that I look like Janet Jackson. So, yeah, it's the life I live. Some people know that NQ is my sister, so I didn't have a choice with that. I just had to know her. Um, Christina's my cousin, so I didn't have a choice with that either. But I love them. Yes, they're my family, but yeah. So I didn't have a choice with those people. Just kidding. They're not just people. I care about them, but yeah. Um, yeah, Christine, she grew up in um, Chicago. I mean, I mean, not all her life, but she grew up in Chicago, so... We have, I have a lot of family in Chicago, so um, that's how, you know, we grew up kind of together. Um, T. Actually, our relationship is actually kind of funny how we met. It's interesting. We met online. We were online friends for a while. Because um, one time she messaged me and was like, are you Nigerian? I'm like, yes, are you Nigerian? Obviously, we knew each other Nigerian because of our names. But, you know, we had to get the conversation starting, so... Yeah, she messaged me and I was like, hi, nice to meet you. And she was like, nice to meet you too. And then we talked online for like a year before we actually met up. And we live in, in the same city going to the same school. I don't know why that happened, but yeah. But yeah, she, um, she was just my online friend. And then we met for the first time at this um, black African, no, not black African, this, um, um, the black, um, black association at our school they had a cookout so um, I was like yeah you should come to the cookout so we can meet for the first time and stuff she came out and we met and I remember that was when I first learned that she loves music and dancing you know and party music to get you to get your juices flowing but yeah because I remember we um we, we sat next to each other and she had music on her iPhone so we were both listening to songs and stuff and she was like introducing me to new things and stuff so yeah it was funny but ever since then we've been inseparable yes me and T, T and I had our adventures we have a lot of videos on our adventures and stuff but yeah good times, good times 
Yeah, but we go to the same, well, we used to go to the same school, and she transferred to the, another school um, in the same city, so, yeah, we still see each other all the time. That's how we met, and then Julie, um, how did we meet? Actually, my one friend that was in her class um, always kept mentioning about, like, oh, you need to meet this girl, she's South African, like, she's really nice and cool and stuff, I was like, okay. You know, I never, I, I, I kept hearing about her, but I never met her. And then we ended up being in the this in the same fashion show here in Pittsburgh. And that's when I first like got to know her and stuff like that. After the fashion show, we became friends, and that's how where we are today. Yeah. So that's how I met all the beautiful ladies of Divine African Queens. Yeah. So, yeah. Um. Yes. I love sports actually. Um, I may be like a girly girl to you people out there, but if you really get to know me, I love sports and I love, you know, being like, you know, just getting out and getting roughed up and, you know. So when I was in high school, actually in grade school, I played basketball. High school, I played soccer. I love soccer and I ran track, sprints. So yeah. Um, I watch sports on TV like now because like since I started college I haven't like played sports and stuff because I was in school and I didn't have time to play sports but um, I watch basketball, I made basketball, I love basketball and I watch soccer on TV. Those are my two things I watch, my top things. I watch football now and then if like the Steelers play or if it's like Super Bowl, you know, but NBA and soccer are my favorite sports. So yeah, that's my favorite sports. My best friend forever is Erica. Friend, um, we met in high school. She actually moved to the city I was in and went to my high school when I was a junior. Yeah, when I was a junior high school. So we've been friends ever since then. We didn't go to the same college, but um, you know we're still the same, so close and stuff. And I miss her. Um, she actually goes to school and grad school in Philly. And I'm all the way at the other side in Pittsburgh, so it's like we're in the same state, but we're so far apart, you know? <sighs> but yeah, she's my best friend. And we have some good times, good stories, good laughs. Yeah, it's funny. And actually, her sister is actually Inky's best friend. So when we were in high school, it was like the four of us, you know, together. We all had it with each other because we're like the only black people in that school. But yeah, it was a good time. Good times. Yes, I know how to cook. I actually love to cook. I love to do like domestic stuff like cooking and cleaning and taking care of kids, you know. I may look like a person that doesn't know how to do that, but I do. I mean, I get, I'm dressed a lot by the way I look because people think that uh, she just shops and she doesn't care about anybody. She's about herself when she looks and she's all this and all that and superficial and blah, blah, blah. I'm like well I mean those that really know me know I'm the opposite of that at times I have my moments when I'm girly girlish stuff but yeah I love I love to cook I know how to cook um my mom just taught me how to cook I don't know I guess if you're living in a Nigerian household you just like learn by watching you know it's not like your, your mom ever sat down and was like you put this in here and this goes over here. No, you just kind of learn. You kind of just learn how things. You just mom tells you like, oh yeah, don't forget, you do this and you do that. So yeah, but yeah, I love to cook. Like Nigerian food is. I mean, I I can only really survive on Nigerian food. If I cook Nigerian food, I can make a mean rice and stew. I can. That's my specialty. Um, I cook Nigerian food, American food, like Italian food, Chinese food, Indian food. So yeah. I cook whatever. I mean, I like to um, find recipes online and try something new. So, and sometimes I just like make something up and it tastes good. So, yeah, I like to cook. Um, I would. Well, I love to travel, and I love to fly. You know, and be in the airport, and you know, terminal here, baggage claim here, and gotta catch my flight. So yeah, I love to travel, especially flying in an airplane. So I love that. So if I could do anything right now, I would pack my bags, call the girls, and be like, we're going to Miami! Yeah! So yeah, that's 
So I would go to Miami right now, go on the beach, lay out in the sunshine and the breeze, and have a good time, live the life, you know? Just living like carefree. My heart right now would be on the beach right now. I can't do this cold weather. <sighs> Well, you guys know that, oh, I don't know if you know, but I'm going to be Dwight Howard's future wife. So, I mean, we're going to get married, do me and Dwight Howard. <sighs> yes, Dwight Howard. <laughs> but, um, I have some other crushes. Um, I would say I have, like, two. My two top crushes. James Franco. Can't get enough of that kid. And Shia LaBeouf. Those two are like my top celebrity crushes. So yeah. So I mean, I would date them and I'm married Dwight Howard. Yeah. So here's my closet. Um, it's my clothes. And I have purses up top, my jeans. These are all my clothes. And yeah, all this here and then all that. Keep my suitcase in there. And I have shoes down here. These are like my summer shoes I keep back there. And these are like my everyday shoes up here. Yes, those are those. Um, my night table, my bed, uh, my, not my desk, my bed, my spreads, decorations, my windows. Um, hey people. Yes, this is um my um my dresser thing and I have my all my stuff my face stuff my lotions my Victoria's Secret lotions and perfumes and all that junk um, some of my jewelry my rings and my earrings more jewelry in here um, junk um, my necklaces on this it's a dress tree but you can't really see it because uh, it's a lot of stuff on here but yeah, these are all my necklaces on here these are earrings on here and then I have more earrings that I bought this thing and hung it on here. So those are my earrings up here. This is my makeup. I bought these little things and just threw stuff in there. Yeah, there's my makeup here. Um, I bought these things and put rocks in them to put my brushes on. But these are all my brushes and stuff. Um, little knickknacks here and there. These lashes I just bought online. It's actually a lot of lashes, but yeah. Anyways. Um, and then I have this drawer I bought from Target. So then I have like nail polish and more makeup in here palettes makeup in here and this is like my hair stuff kind of messy right now just don't mind it um like I like my hair dryer curling rods and all that junk um i have nothing in here just yeah um more hair stuff my hot rollers these are all the stuff this is what i used to when i travel so when i travel i just put like my bath stuff in all these makeup jewelry all this stuff like that yeah and then, um, this is just full of just stuff like hair stuff, medicine, you know, like band-aids and all that junk. And yeah, nothing on here. But yeah, this is my room, my laundry, my chair, and um, this is my view outside. I live in a high-rise apartment building, so this is my view of the city, the beautiful city of Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, and then my school is actually, like, over there. That's my school over there. So I can see my school if it's burning down. I don't, I don't have to go to class. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, yeah. Do you see those people down there? Um, the Steelers practice in this building right behind this, like, thing right here. So, I'm not, not the Steelers. The, um, the Pens, the hockey team for Pittsburgh. So, people will stand out there and wait for them to come out of practice. And get their autographs and stuff like that. And my apartment, my apartment has like a pool and tennis courts, and then yeah, and then this is like the valet parking thing over there. And yeah, that's the city of Pittsburgh for ya. It's really nice. I love living like in a building where I can see like the whole city. But yeah, and that's the tour of my room. Nothing else special about here. Oh, these are my 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 uh, sashes for my pageant that I won Miss Africa Pittsburgh and there's my crown I should put this in a box so it doesn't like ruin but uh, I haven't had time to do that yet but yeah here's my stash not that drunk but yeah that's my room for ya 
nothing really special, but yeah. So yeah, uh, bye. I have like top, my, I have a lot. I, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of channels, um, and I subscribe to a lot of blogs. But my favorites would be that Nigerian kid on Tumblr. Like that kid is like, he makes my day. I love his blog. It's so funny. And the question you guys on Tumblr is so funny. And his life is just interesting to me. You know. I feel like he should like have his own web TV show or something like that. But yeah. I love that Nigerian kid. Hi. Um, I love Wendy's lookbook. She has a blog and a, and a YouTube channel. Um, I love the four aces. Those are, that's like one, a really good blog. The one thing is that I'm actually a really, really, really shy person. Like, I'm extremely shy. I've been working on it to get better since I started college, you know. I've been getting better, but I have a lot of work to do. But I'm extremely shy. So, the thing is, like, people mistake my shyness for, like, being stuck up. I don't want to touch anybody. I'm just like, no, honey, no. I'm just shy. Like, if you could see what's going on in my head, I'm just like... Let me say something. Should I say something? Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Like, what do I look like? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yeah, that goes on my head. But people just think I'm mean and all that stuff like that. But I'm just really shy. But the funny thing is that people that know me well, know me really well, would never believe I'm shy. And the people that don't know me would never be would believe. Oh yeah, she okay. She's shy. She doesn't talk to anybody. You know, even when like I don't know someone, and they would never believe that the way I am with both my good friends, you know, just like talking and making jokes and crazy and just goofy and out there and just, yeah, so it's funny, but I mean, the thing with me is that like when I'm comfortable with somebody, then that's when like I can let everything down and just show people who I am because, yeah, I don't know why, but I just, I'm just shy, but yeah, I get mistaken, my shyness taken for something else but guys I'm just shy like if I see you and I don't say anything is that because I don't like you it's because I'm shy it's hard for me to be like go to, like I'm it's hard for me to just go to people like hi what's up how are you my name is Iffy like like I can't do that it's like if you just know what's going on in my inside it's just it's like a battle but yeah I'm just shy but I'm working on it you know some days I may be really good and other days I'm just like not today not today you know so yeah but that's all the questions that I'm gonna answer if anybody else I, another question I want me to um if anybody else has questions that they want to ask me or about you anything who you're following. Following. you should know who you're watching online you know you should know their personality so yeah um so I'll see you guys I just hit my face off in the face <laughs> so I'll just see you guys later Check us out on the blog, divineafricanqueens.blogspot.com. Um, check me on YouTube, NigerGirl88. And yeah, so see you guys later. Bye.